Okay, seven this is exercise 6D, which is on multiplying and dividing powers by powers of 10, and is on page 329 of your textbook. All right, so we're actually multiplying by powers of 10. What does that mean? Well, powers of 10 basically means 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. You get the idea. So we can actually uh, multiply and divide by these numbers here. But, but first, before we do that, we have to understand what it means by equivalent decimals. So every number contains a decimal point, but it's not usually shown in integers. So if I was to say, for example, 43.2, you're pretty, it, it makes sense that you know that there's 43 and there's also a point 0.2. If I said 68, that's also equivalent to 68.00000 for as many zeros as I want to write. So I did talk about this last video. It's the same idea. As long as it's after the decimal point, I can put as many zeros as I want, and it's going to be uh, on the right, sorry, and it's going to be the same number. For example, 63.07 is going to be the same as 63.07 .07, and then 0000, 0, 0, 0 dot, 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 dot. But it's not the same as 63.0007. That is not the same thing because it's a 7 in the hundredths place, but in this case, it's a 7 in the ten thousandths place. So we've got to make sure we're adding zeros to the right side after the decimal point. All right. So multiplying by powers of 10, all I have to do is I have to move the decimal point right, like towards the right, the same number of places as there are zeros in the multiplier. So what does that mean? It means like, for example, if I'm multiplying by a thousand, so how many zeros are there in a thousand? There's one, two, three. That means I move the decimal point three places to the right. So if I've got 5.7839, all I have to do, if I'm uh, multiplying by 1,000, I'm moving the decimal point from here, one, two, three. And so it should be between the three and the nine, and I end up with 5,783.9. Okay, so that's the idea. If I'm dividing by powers of 10, I do the same thing, except I move left. So this should say left, actually. I move left. So if I divide by 100, there's two zeros there. So I move the decimal point two places to the left. So in this case, I've got 2,975.6 decimal points right here. One, two. It should be between the 29 and the 75. Uh, 20, between the 9 and the 7, sorry. And that's how we multiply and divide by powers of 10. Pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and do an example. So for this one over here on the left, calculate 567 times by 10,000. How many zeros are there in 10,000? 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 4, which means we have to move it 4 places. Now, do we move it left or right? We move it to the right because it's multiply, right? So multiply, as we said before, multiplying, we move it right, dividing, we move it left, okay? So I'm just gonna write over here, multiply is right, divide is left, okay? So I've got 567, where is the decimal place now? Well, it's actually here. You can't see it, because we don't normally write it, but it's right there. I can write as many zeros as I want, yeah? Let's go ahead and do that for now. Now, I need to move the decimal place four places to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. So I put the decimal point there. I'm going to now rewrite this number with the decimal point in the new position. So zero, 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 zero. Do I need to write point zero, 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 zero? No, I don't. I can actually get rid of that. And my answer is this. I get 5,670,000. Awesome. Let's move on. 23 divided by 1,000. Once again, remember that 23 is equal to 23.000, but it's also equal to 0. Point, oh, sorry, not 0. Point. It's also equal to this right here. That's the same thing, okay? So if I go ahead and write 23 divided by 1,000, I know there's one, two, three, three zeros there. So I need to move it left three places. So I've got 23. The decimal point is right here. So one, two, 
3. So imagine there are zeros here. So then I go ahead and write, rewrite this equation, this number, sorry, with the decimal point in the new position, 0 0.23. Perfect. So that is what 23 divided by 100 is equal to. So 1,000. Okay. Now we have to be able to apply this in a bod mass situation. So evaluate this expression using the order of operations. So first things first, brackets. So in the brackets, I've got 0 0.43 times by 10 minus 1.6. So 0 0.43, there's one decimal, uh, one uh, zero there. So I move the decimal place one to the right, and I instead get, if I move it one to the right, I get 4.3. So I'm going to rewrite the whole question, except I'm going to write 4.3. So 426 divided by 100 plus 10 bracket 4.3 minus 1.6. Okay. Now I can say, well, I need to do the brackets, right? So 426 divided by 100 plus 10. And in the brackets, what's 4.3 minus 1.6? Remember, make sure your decimals are aligned. So 3 minus 6, can't do that, bring the 1 over. So it's 13 minus 6, which gives me 7. Bring the decimal point. That's, oops, sorry. That's now at 3. 3 minus 1 gives me 2. So it's 2.7 here. Now, what does it mean if there's nothing here in between? It means it's a multiplier, right? So now I've got 426 divided by 100 plus 10 times 2.7. So let's go from left to right. Let's say, what's 426 divided by 100? So divided by 100 means I move the decimal points right here normally. I move it to the left. One, two. There's two zeros, so move it to the left twice. One, two. And I end up with 4.26 plus, and now I'm going to write the rest of it. 10 times 2.7. Now, 10 times 2.7 is one zero so I'm gonna go ahead and move it right one time and then end up with 4.26 that's from before plus 10 times 2.7 gives me 27 I add them together and I get 31.26 or if you're doing it by hand you could say 27 here point zero zero because that's the same thing plus 4.26 0 plus 6 gives me 6, 0 plus 2 gives me 2, 7 plus 4 gives me 11, and the 2 plus 1 gives me 3. So I get 31.26. Alright, hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Feel free to pause the video at any time. Good luck.